Children of all ages, it's the Michael and Phillips show. I know it's a lot better with the Beth and Anna show, but you know, this is what you get dealt with today. Yeah, the women are working. Oh, yeah, what time is it? They ain't working. Actually, they're this, not they're working there. They're, they're, we're, we're making them groceries. Yeah, y'all go make us some sandwiches for the weekend. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we all just saw if y'all, if Kevin edited this right and y'all saw the clip before this. A corn man out there. Yeah. Professional. Yeah. My professional corn spreader got us hooked up right here. And if you haven't figured it out yet, we're at the Lee Farm, the famous Lee Farm. And that was famous Big Mike Lee. And he said, Y'all me to go take y'all to the stand and put some corn out for you? And we said, Absolutely. Absolutely. So we did. We got a nice Antler King plot here. Just what the hell was this one? Three weeks? Three weeks. Something like that. It needs it needs a little bit of rain on it and be doing real good, but the deer are absolutely destroying it. And we do have a feeder up out here. And this is a historically good spot to see deer. But as I was telling Philip before I hit that record button, he's hunting with me, so all bets are off. It's definitely him if we don't see deer here. This this stand on this farm has been somewhat of my nemesis for seeing. Not seeing deer, but seeing like shooter bucks. I've seen some really nice bucks here, but I haven't seen any big bucks here. Now, Dad kills half the wall in there sort of sucks, out of this spot. Jaw dropping you know, bucks. And, and Philip and I have never had the privilege of squeezing the trigger here. Hmm. But we're ready. We are definitely Got the ready. old hawk. Quarter seven mag. And when I shoot, Phillip's gonna hold my ears for me. He's gonna hold my ears. Ah, that's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's uh, 521. We ain't been here about five minutes. We hadn't seen anything, so I'm about ready to go. <laughs> they, well, they heard that. They heard that spreader. They stand. The they, they stand up stretching their legs right yeah, now. They'll, right now. They'll be here in a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna see some there, y'all. Y'all hang tight. It's just a matter of time. This food plot I'm sitting on this afternoon, this uh, probably probably about five acres. Got a Antler King variety mix. Most all their fall and winter products is out there in some form or fashion. But looking to the east, there's just a massive woodlot. I mean, it's like a thousand acres of woods. And this is the first agriculture leaving those woods headed west. So there's a lot of drawing opportunity for the deer in those woods to come out here and eat. There's also a couple of good acorn trees. Deer hitting them acorn trees really hard right now. Acorns are falling. I got a little metal top stand. I keep hearing acorns banging on top of it down under a big oak tree. This is uh, usually a pretty good afternoon spot and I think the later in the season it gets, the better it's going to get because uh, right now there's a lot of food for the deer. And it's going to diminish over the course of the fall and winter. But anyway, we're going to sit here and uh, see how it works out.
my sister Pat and I. There's my sister Pat. I don't look like Pam right there, did I? <laughs> you look like Pam, because you really do. At any rate, uh, I made a food plot over here on about a seven acre field. And it's got five shooting lanes going down through it. And I got the shooting lanes planted in a mixture of Antler King products. And there's one window going over Pat's shoulder right there. That's one? Oh, we that's that that's food plot number one. Okay. That's where the deer's gonna come out. It could be. got another food plot going out one to number two. We got another strip going out one to number three. We got another strip going out one to number four. And of course we got another one going out one to number five. So that one, that's the middle window right there. The middle food plot. It's probably, I don't know, 200 yards to the end of that one and that's the longest one but it ought to be a delightful afternoon we're sitting in this redneck ghillie blind had never before been hunted it's like the Ritz Carlton <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make a killing feel out of it here in a little bit Well, after about an hour of sitting, a doe finally walked out in lane number three. Good. Look at there, Pat. Look at that book right there. Look. Dang, Mike. Where'd he go from? Hey, that's a dang nice one right there. No, I'm not sitting out by you. Are you going to shoot him? I don't know. I think I am. Oh gosh, Lord, let me zoom in on it. How do you zoom in? <laughs> Golly, Pete. Wonder where he went to, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> he went to the dirt, buddy. Yeah, he peaked. You know, we set this thing up, just planted this food plot here about, uh, I don't know, three or four weeks ago. We put this blind up, this redneck ghillie blind, and uh, we had the, had the lanes one, two, three, four, five. And uh, there's been deer in every one except for five so far. But that, uh, <laughs> That's just a nice. I think he's yeah. an eight point, but that jugger. He just showed up. If ground shrink don't don't mess him up, that jugger's got some long tines on him now. Uh -huh. One thing I'd do, do right now is get down and go see. Dang, dang, dang. <laughs> Golly, Pete. Have to mow the first time sitting on this food plot. First time sitting in this ghillie blind. Dang. <laughs> And I see him laying right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he didn't go anywhere. He just went like two feet down. He didn't quite get to be the 10 point, but he's a 9 point. Well. Oh, golly. <laughs> Look at that thing. He's got some. 
He's beautiful, Mike. That's a pretty deer. That is a pretty deer. Wow. Man. Boy, that deer was fat. Pretty nice. Man, oh man. Pretty nice. How about it, Mike Lee? <laughs> <laughs> what a day, what a day.